This week on The Wire, prices rise the fastest in 17 years. Listing levels still dropping and Labor access property tax policies. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. You can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, prices rise the fastest in 17 years. So Australian property values grew at their fastest rate in 17 years in February with every capital city and all regional markets lifting their drilling prices. The rare circumstance of all 15 market jurisdictions, that's eight capital cities and seven regional markets, rising strongly at the same time confirms that Australia is experiencing a nationwide real estate boom, the first since 2001 to 2003. Now, national home values rose 2.1% in February to a median of 599,000, the largest month-on-month -month increase since August 2003. Two biggest uh, capital cities recorded the strongest monthly growth. Sydney's medium home value rose 2.5% to 896,000 and Melbourne's rose 2.1% to 718,000. Hobart property values also recorded a 2.5% monthly rise to 536,000. But in annual terms, the growth in house prices is being led by Darwin up 16.3%, uh, Canberra up 11% and Hobart up 10.2%. Now, CoreLogic's research director, Tim Lawless, describes the growth in property markets as phenomenal against the backdrop of the pandemic. And now, guys, for our next story, listing levels still dropping. So low levels of listings of properties for sale are helping to push property sales, and in February, listings overall fell further despite an increase in new listings. Figures released this week by SQM Research revealed the total listings nationwide fell 2.7% in February to just over 250,000. Compared in 12 months ago, listings are down 13%. Now, the largest monthly decreases were in Adelaide, Brisbane and Perth, but compared to a year earlier, listings fell the most in Hobart and Adelaide. The overall fall in listings comes despite a 52% rise in new listings in February to 76,430 new properties over the market. That's 6% up over the year. Canberra new listings jumped the most by 94%, while Sydney also recorded a robust rise of 71%. Listings overall are declining because owners are holding their properties during the rising market and buyers still outnumber sellers. This means available properties are being snapped up quickly by competing buyers, sometimes with multiple offers. Guys, now for our final story of the week, Labor Axe's property tax policies. So Labor has dumped changes to negative gearing and capital gains tax from the final draft of its 2021 party platform. And that's as Albany, Albanese moves to scrap more of Bill Shorten's economic policies ahead of the next election. Now the Australian reports that while the shadow cabinet has not yet determined its tax agenda for the federal election, which could be as early as this year, the draft party platform released this week excludes mentions of changes to negative uh, gearing and capital gains tax. Franking credit reforms have already been dumped. Now the draft Labor plan for the nation will be debated and ultimately set by the party's national conference starting on March 30. Labor's Treasury spokesman Jim Chalmers told The Australian that tax policies Labor took to the 2019 election would not be retained. Business groups and Labor MPs have tentatively Tentatively, I should say, welcome the opposition leader's vision for the party, with the Property Council of Australia and Master Builders Association warning that new taxes would hamper the nation's post-pandemic economic recovery. Well, guys, they're the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, guys. That's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.